Looking pretty good. Good morning, and welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've ever touched Star Stone Hearth. I mean, last time I touched it was Alpha 11, but we are back. And this is the Kingdom of Smallwood. The reason why I had to get rid of Booty Bay is because of the updates you have I had to I found I had to get rid of my old saves due to the update. So let's jump in, I'll show you what I've got. So at the moment, I know it's not much, but this is it. Now, from the last time I touched the game which was Alpha 11, as I was saying before, there has been some major improvements and I thought I'd go over them. So let's just pause this here and let's have a quick look at the job tree. Now, as you can see, we finally have all the jobs back up. All of them are up. We've got this one that's left, which we don't know what that one is. Is on the uh, blacksmithing path but the one I'm really interested in and I love playing with is the herbalist and I was really looking forward to this one to come out and now that it's got fully available so all of the all of the crafting orders are available or for now what's available is available it's really handy especially when you're getting attacked a lot more what else has happened? Well, they finally, one of the biggest bugbears I had with Alpha 11 was one of the bugs with the crops where, you know, they didn't actually plow the earth that you're looking for. So that is was a thing and now they've got rid of it. But my other bugbear is this. <laughs> I have a bit of a bit of a problem with that door in that building. So I'm, if you see it, just please ignore it. But yeah, it's turning out to be a nice little game. You're getting attacked far more often. So let's build. Well, at the moment, I'm in the process of building another house. So that we'll build this house and we'll probably build another house and we'll see how it goes. A thing I really like is the fact that your builders will instant queue anything you need for that building. So say if you need like if I go into my carpenter, my carpenter instant cube these for the house that I'm building at the moment, which is very handy, especially if you don't have time to manage all of your builders because you have loads of them. Obviously, I don't have loads of people. There was a harsh winter if we, if we struggled with famine. We're doing pretty good. And you got more monster types as well. So if we scan over here, we've got some little forest puppers over here. And they do attack more regularly. And if you're not prepared, you will be fucked over. And you get different types as well. So different areas of different types of mobs that spawn. So in this area, because we're surrounded by woods and mountains, we've got lots of stone golems and we've got lots of like ents. Or what I describe as ents, so like your wood people. And of course you've got the goblins. But you actually get story quests as well. It's a very interesting thing to happen. So one of the main story quests at the moment, which I'm working on, is called the Quest of Township. Now this basically is you have to choose which one, basically what 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 status your town is. Are you for Sid's Valor, which is religion? The plenty the, oh, Sid's Valor is military. The Church of Plenty is religion, or Crafter's Approval. On another playthrough, just to see you know mess about with the Alpha Seventeen. I already did the Sid's Valor and what that gives you is it unlocks you more buildings and more trade routes. So at the moment you just get your basic trade routes of wanderers going past every five minutes. But 
the new trade routes give you more things so you get bakers things like that let's give you this bed and let's give the farmer this bed too you can see you can actually custom build now i actually figured out how to custom build it took me a couple of episodes to do it but i figured out how to custom build so now we're finishing up on this building let's say let's send our defenders Oh, well, we're going to get attacked anyway. We want to build a storehouse. I think that's the next move. There we go. We've got more goblins coming. So it's a raid party for goblins. And I've got a footman is level three now. So we'll send our footman to go take care of that goblin's nest after they've killed this goblin. So our footmen are gonna go attack that goblin basically. And everyone else is finishing off this hut. Once that hut's finished, I'll start building a storage. Yes, I know. They're destroying this. Another thing is spawns actually drop loot now. Or more loot, which is always handy, especially if you're running low on supplies of things. So where are we going to build this storehouse to? That's the next thing we're doing. They're just finishing off the scaffolding. Oh, that was the thing. I wanted to get my mason to Build some more. Oh, he needs more stone. I got the quarry coming up. Quarry coming up. So he should. Anyway. What was that? Oh, it's these guys. These are the guys I was on about. We zoom in on them. Entling is what they're called. Let's get the town on defense mode as well. No, we don't need the town on defense mode. They're clearly taking care of that. Yeah, um, villagers with weapons, so say like your hunter, your blacksmith, will take um, will take on attackers that come to the village. Oh, some ore there. How's the daily update going? We're not doing so good on food. So you might need some people to go scavenge for food in a minute. Um, but other than that, let's have the game paused a minute and let's plan out where we're going to build our storehouse because I don't really like having all my supplies out in the open. I was at some point going to turn this into the storehouse and have this more as like a financial district. I think for now, let's just have a small storehouse. No, not there, not there. That's a bit silly. Um, I was trying to think, actually, I think I might just put it next door to here. Actually, let's have it a bit, let's have it. Starting from here and then going back. There we go. So at least we've got the foundations now. And I might have it as a two story, another two story building. Yeah, I'm going to have it as a two story building. So I'm trying to have all my buildings look slightly similar just to give it that. Actually, no. Yeah, just to give it that town look. But I think this one. I'm gonna make slightly different. I'm gonna give it stone columns of pale blue. Stone columns of pale blue. Why not? It's turned all the fucking walls. <laughs> now, let me sort this out. Okay, that 
that's the base layer done. What we're doing is we're going to plan out the top. Let's have the flooring. Let's have it of a pale wood. The flooring for the top floor. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. And... I am rubbish at building houses, just so everyone knows. Right. There we go. That's better. Alright, so. We just need a way of getting to the upstairs. So we've got stairs. So let's do just a basic wooden step. Let's do the door here. Let's do a single door. No, double door. Double door up to here. There we go. So that's the basic outside of our storage. So is there anything else we want? Well, what we want is some lanterns just to light it up and I'd say let's have some lanterns by the other door as well and let's have a look what else well, well by the other door if I show you I've got like some sort of wall just to cover up the stairs and I think I won't have that here Let's go on the inside. So what do we want on the inside? Well, it's a storage house. What do you have in storage houses? Boxes and stuff. So what we do is if we have on the lower level, have like wood piles. So have two wood piles and let's say a log pile each and then let's have the actual proper chests up here now this is where loot will go on the upper stairs and then just start filling with boxes make sure there's enough space in between so people can actually get in you might rub out that box there and put one a few more further back there we go looking pretty nice for a storeroom actually right now let's also put some more boxes up here because boxes are always handy Never run out of boxes. I would say Ooh. did them a bit too close together. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Now get up the front of the building and let's have we'll do some sort of what's on the edges of the building we'll do some sort of banner just to show what the building is yeah there we go and I'm done let's finish start building so there's planning the building now <sighs> oh I need to press play. And that's it. Now people should start, hopefully, running towards this building. Another thing I'm not really too keen on is the NPCs just don't do anything. And you can't dictate to them to do stuff. I mean, sure, if you... Well, you can really, 
but every time I go to send some NPCs to like harvest or shit like that, they just don't just don't listen to me sometimes. Which is really frustrating, especially when you want them to do something for a particular reason. Like, I'm running out of food, please grab this food for me. They won't. Which gets really annoying really quickly. So let's send people to do a bunch of harvesting. Let's get some more. Some more of this stuff. Oh, there's a spool of thread here. I didn't see it. So everyone's harvesting that need what needs to be harvested. I think after this building, after the storehouse, and we move everything into the storehouse, I'll do... Plan out where we're gonna put the dining hall to. I see I'm starting to build a road as well, just to connect everything together. Hopefully this should do it for food now. I would like it if you could just speed it up a little bit more faster just because it's not really much to do while you're waiting for people to do stuff. What's up? Oh, they're fighting wolves now. Great. 